Moat researchers say it's too early to know whether we're in for a major outbreak of red tide. Testing resumed today after the algae that causes respiratory problems for some people was detected Tuesday in South Sarasota County. SNN Local News 6 reporter Graham Boxleitner joins us live from Bird Key with the latest. Graham. That's right, Mia. Moat is keeping a close eye on this tonight. Those big levels were down at Minnesota Key. We're at Sarasota Bay right now. No red tide detected here as of yet, but we spent some time at Minnesota Beach today where they're monitoring it closely. Let's take a look. It's back. Moat Marine researchers have detected the algae that causes red tide off Minnesota Beach. It was low to moderate concentrations at Minnesota Beach, and so this is the trigger that tells us now we need to initiate our monitoring program. So today at this time, right now, we have scientists out there collecting samples from the boat. Moat senior scientist Richard Pierce says it's the first time since December 2009 that measurable levels of red tide have been found off the Sarasota County coast. Uh, that one was only a blip. About a week later, it was all gone. And so that may be the same thing now, but we have to monitor and see what's going to happen. And we walked Minnesota Beach today, and we haven't seen any dead fish as of yet, but some beachgoers say they've already seen a little and are detecting a slight odor as well. Beachgoer Lisa Gosnell noticed something different as she walked through the sand Wednesday. I noticed a slight odor when I came down today, and I'm down here almost every day, and I definitely did notice an odor. Um, I didn't know if it was standing water, but it, it wasn't normal. Rotunda resident Brenda Knoll says she suspected red tide during a recent trip to Boca Grande. I finally asked the people next to me, no, we're coughing too. Every, there weren't that many, there were like three or four people on the beach, but everybody was like, no, we're coughing. For now, Dr. Pierce says people should plan their beach days as normal. I would say people go to the beach and enjoy it. If you start choking and coughing, that's an indication you might want to leave and go somewhere else or maybe come back another day. And Mia, right now we're seeing these onshore winds and that's when if red tide is present, you can begin to start to cough if it's out there as well as have these respiratory irritations. Now, as for the test today, Moat says they will know more tomorrow when that data is analyzed and we should have a better idea just how widespread or not widespread this red tide is off our coast. That's the latest. We're live in Sarasota. Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News 6, Mia. Thank you, Grant.